it's a cycle every three years. You know, you get to a new school, you make friends, you kind of finally settle in, and then it's okay, hey, we have to go somewhere else now. I've been to three different bases, but I've been all over the world, basically. Is that it's hard because when you move, you like lose a lot of friends, and you're always the new kid at every new school that you go to. Their dad is deployed, or their mom is deployed, or somebody just moved away. I just got new friends, but I don't want to forget the old ones. Moving all around, it makes you adapt in different ways and meet new people. And um, so it's really broadened my sense of like who, like relationships and how to um, make new friends each time where I move different places. If you being a public school kid, you don't have to move all the time and leave your best friends, but. If you're a Dodia school kid and you have military parents, you going to have to move all the time. Well, and my family's very spread out too. So on my mom's side, both of her sisters are in the military also. And then on my dad's side, my two uncles did. So we're pretty spread out. So we're used to going around and everything. You just got to learn that you won't be with your friends all the time. And you always have plane tickets. So you can always buy one of those. But you will learn to make new friends uh, as you move on. You kind of have to like learn to like fight for yourself a little bit and you have to be social so you're not the one awkward kid sitting at the back of the room while everybody else is like talking. It takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of determination to not just give up. But once you put yourself out there, there's a lot more to do and then well, of course with people being new, you have to be willing to get to want to know other people and want to communicate. You have to learn how to rely on yourself, and you have to be able to process the world without others guiding you. Since I moved here, I've been a lot more culturally awakened. So I'll tell my friends back in the States, oh, I'm going to Venice for the weekend. They say, you can do that. I've gotten to see other parts of the world and how others and how other cultures interact and everything. I get to try a whole bunch of different food from different places and stuff like that, from being like a military child and having to move all the time. I remember on basketball trips, we'd see like, refugees walking or just like a lot of different things like going on and so it just opened my eyes there's like more going on in the world than just the United States. I think that's, that's a huge opportunity to travel around to see different cultures and experience different things around the world. I feel like um, I've been introduced to multiple things and then because of that I'm able to decide what it is I want to. I think there's a lot more like unity and sense of community because like me, I live on base and so I'm just around like everybody all the time and so I really get to know the people that I'm around and I just see everybody every day so I just kind of, there's more connection there. So I want to be a friend to people that have to go through that because I went through it myself and I don't want anybody else to have to like face that alone. The one thing I've, I've really noticed comparing here to a stateside school is there are a lot more Welcoming, welcoming. We're all in the same situation. We're all military kids. We're all moving every three years, sometimes four, five, six. But it's it's just we're all in the same situation. We understand each other's problems a lot more. There's a lot of overcoming that happens when you're a military brat.